So in this video, we're going to talk about how to convert between wavelength, frequency, and energy of light. These three quantities, of course, refer to very different physical properties, but in some sense they're equivalent in the sense that once you know one of them, you can readily compute the other two. And so there are two key expressions that you need to remember. The first is that the frequency nu is equal to the speed of light c over lambda. So c is the speed of light. Lambda is the wavelength. And nu is the frequency. The other expression that's important is the energy one, in which the energy is related to the frequency by Planck's constant h. And again, nu here is the frequency. And now I can combine these two expressions, if needed, to write the energy in terms of the wavelength, and I get e is equal to hc over lambda, just by substituting this expression for nu in right here. So using these expressions, I can interconvert between frequency, wavelength, and energy. The speed of light, c, is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, and Planck's constant, h, is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. So really, working problems with these is pretty straightforward, with the biggest trick being to make sure that your units cancel properly. So I recommend always converting everything to SI units before using these expressions. And then things will be relatively straightforward. So by SI units, I mean you should have your wavelengths in meters, your frequencies in inverse seconds, or hertz, and your energies in joules. And if you do that, the units are going to cancel relatively straightforwardly, and everything works out nicely. Let's do an example. So the peak absorption wavelength of retinal, the key molecule in our eyes for vision, in vivo occurs around 357 nanometers. What is the corresponding frequency of light and the energy of each photon at this wavelength? So our wavelength is 357 nanometers, and we want to know what the frequency is and the energy per photon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert our wavelength to SI units. So our wavelength is equal to 357 nanometers times the 10 to the minus 9 meters per 1 nanometer. Cancel my units, and I end up with 3.5 7 times 10 to the minus 7 meters as my wavelength in SI units. Now to go ahead and calculate the frequency, I have frequency equals C over lambda. Again, C was 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. My frequency is 3.57 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And if I go ahead and plug these into my calculator, I get 8.40 times 10 to the 14th inverse seconds, and inverse seconds is the same as hertz. So you can refer either to this as inverse seconds or hertz. Either unit is fine. So this is the frequency of light associated with this wavelength. And again, we can confirm that my units canceled, giving me those inverse seconds. Finally, if I want to find the energy content, I know that E is equal to H nu, and so it's Planck's constant, again, was 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. And then we're multiplying this by our frequency, 8.40 times 10 to the 14th inverse seconds. My seconds and the inverse seconds cancel, and I'm left with 5.56 times 10 to the minus 19 joules.
This is the amount of energy per photon. Now that of course is a tiny amount of energy, but that's just for a single photon. If you start thinking about Avogadro's number of those 10 to the 23rd, then you can actually see this would be a sizable amount of energy. So in any, way, in any case, backing up again, the key point is when you're working with these conversions, you can use the frequency equals c over lambda and the energy equals h nu to interconvert between wavelength, frequency, and energy readily. The only caveat is to make sure your units cancel. And so again, I recommend converting everything to SI units, things like meters, inverse seconds, and joules, so that you can use these expressions readily.